Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at one of my laptops. Actually, it's my only laptop, but whatever. So it's called Xiaomi Mi Air 2019. Uh, so it's like the 2019 version of Xiaomi's Mi Air 12. So it's a 12 in it's a 12 inch laptop. Uh, like it's like well, it's, it's this lap. So it's a 12 inch laptop, uh, diagonally 12 inch. And uh, with that being said, it's like a really small laptop. Uh, it has like a very small form factor. So well it's white in color like uh, this laptop is actually white uh, this is like a skin that i put on the laptop and these are a bunch of stickers that i found uh, like i was expecting it to look cool hopefully it looks cool uh, so talking about the design this laptop is 12 inch it is really small as you can compare it to uh, one of my books so it, it has like really similar size to a typical book so it's like really compact and small something that i really like uh, you can take it anywhere with you it, it's not really heavy so uh, talking about the weight it is it is talking about the weight it is kind of light like it's it's not that light it it's like it has a similar weight it has it is a little bit heavier than this book yeah, a typical book but then uh, yeah, yeah considering like you can uh, take this uh, laptop in one hand and uh, it would you would be comfortable with carrying this with one hand uh, so that's pretty good it is really light i don't know how like the grams or kilos or god forbid the pounds how much like does it weigh but that doesn't really matter it weighs light enough so it's a light laptop it's a small light laptop uh, talking about the build quality of this laptop this laptop is surprisingly really well built so what do i mean by that so the this thing this whole like the chassis of the laptop is made up of i think aluminium it's made up of aluminium and this on uh, this this outer thing i don't know what you call the screen is also made this thing is also made up of aluminium however uh, when you turn back this back side is made up of plastic so uh, everything else is aluminium metal it's durable it feels premium in hand however the back side is plastic but it's not really a big deal because I mean like how often do you look at the back of a laptop it like the back sits down so you don't really notice the back so the build quality is really nice the hinges on this laptop are also nice the screen is like when you like open the screen it is like steady it does not wobble or anything like that so i really like the build quality of this laptop all metal i mean almost all metal and it's like a very pre it feels really premium in hand in hand so that's the build quality of the laptop one of the like uh, aspects of the design uh, that i really like is uh, it's a small thing but I think it's really really important and that is uh, you can do this with this laptop I'll show you again so with one hand you can open this laptop with one hand so it's like it may not seem like much but then it's like a really good feeling and it's like really easy and comfortable instead of using both hands you can use one hand or a or, or finger to be exact to open it and it's like really easy really comfortable to do that it, it adds a lot to the experience i must say and well uh, uh looking at the ports first of all i'd like like this is the thing that you put your finger here and open it i really like this feature it's like it's it's like a small thing but i really like it so looking at the port selection on this laptop there are uh, there are not a lot of ports here so first we have this HDMI port uh, you can connect this with your projector and stuff like that uh, and project what's on the screen like use projectors by, by connecting here we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here and then uh, this is the USB type C charging port so you can uh, 
you can like the charger that's provided with this laptop is a type c one so this is a type c charging port this is a type a uh, usb type a so you can use your type a pen drives and uh, i i use a old phone so it has a type a connector so i can connect uh, my phone with uh, this type a connector and transfer the files and whatnot but uh, the port selection as you can see is like really not that great uh, considering it's like uh, ultra book of some sort uh, it's not that bad because like it's really thin it's light and it's small so i guess you cannot fit uh, that many ports in a device like this but then uh, the only complaint that i have with this port this port selection is that uh, if i if i'm using a wired if i'm using a wireless mouse then uh, that mouse co like occupies this usb type a port so if I'm using a mouse, I cannot use anything else. Like I cannot transfer files uh, using while I'm using a Bluetooth mouse or wired mouse. So having only one port is like kind of limited. So I wish they had like at least two ports so that I can have a pen drive in one and I can have my mouse connected to the other one. So, but then we don't have that here. So that's what you get. So port selection is like, okay, it's not that great, but considering other devices like in the ultra book ultra book segment uh, it's a common theme that uh, most like sin and light laptops don't have that many ports so that's about the ports so before we talk about the typing experience uh, let's talk about the software and uh, the performance and everything else so as you can see it, it like it takes not it does not take a lot of time to boot up it's a pretty simple fast forward experience so yeah so this this one runs a uh, uh, genuine version of windows 10 uh, with uh, microsoft word and uh, microsoft word offline support online word support and everything else but then uh, since uh, I bought this laptop in China, I was in China, uh, like I was in Shang Shanghai. I don't know how you say that. I was in Shanghai, so with my family for a trip. So uh, since this is a Xiaomi laptop, Xiaomi is a Chinese brand. So I thought like, why not buy a laptop? I mean, it must be, it, it must be like better and cheaper if, if you buy Chinese laptop in China itself. So I went to a, a Xiaomi store in Shanghai. Uh, it was a, it was really hard to find that store because I don't speak Chinese and everything in China is in Chinese, like even the maps and stuff like that. Google doesn't work. So I finally found a, a store in China and then uh, I bought this one. But then the problem was the software, the operating system, everything was in Chinese. Like uh, the the everything that the software and the written and the word, if you open word, then uh, it won't be in English like the options everything and the typing is also in Chinese so uh, it was kind of disappointing uh, but then uh, after I bought it and I brought, bought it and brought it home I rebooted it uh, with an English version so it does take a it, it took a little bit of work but then it was okay so this version runs a, a Intel Core M3 processor I don't know a lot about processors so I'm not gonna pretend that I know but then it's it's a mid-tier processor i guess and uh, it's like okay for me it's not as slow or anything i don't lag there are no lags it is like really smooth uh, you can play you can play games on this one this laptop because the processor is not designed to support heavy game or processing stuff uh, so if you do light stuff like uh, go to the internet browse uh, type uh, listen to music, uh, use messenger, uh, I mean edit like read PDFs, um, read books and then I don't know just general stuff like um, you can even or like if you like edit audio with audacity or like you can even edit like light videos with Kenden Live and uh, other programs like that so uh, it's like a good processor. It's not super fast. It does not you cannot you can't really play real games on this one But then uh, for typing for the general stuff. It is really good like you will not feel any lags on this device So 
it's not the most powerful thing but then uh, depending on your need uh, if you're like me who does not really play games and who does not do any uh, resource intensive stuff uh, you will be fine you will be more than fine it is a good laptop it's really fast not that bad so now talking about the battery experience this uh i don't know how many watt hour battery does this one have because i'm not like into numbers any anyways but then this one has a pretty okay battery i must say like if you browse the net and uh, do typing and you watch youtube videos you can last up to five six seven five six hours so I don't know like um, I don't know anyone like why would you want to use laptop continuously for like 8, 9, 10 hours like that's not me I, I only use it for like 1 or 2 hours at a time so like it has a pretty good battery life for me like I don't really use laptops that much so uh, it lasts up to it has a screen on time of to up to like if you use in the internet and watch YouTube videos and stuff like that it can last up to like 5-6 hours almost and i don't know if that's good but it's enough for me so battery life it's okay for me i like it i have no problem with the battery connectivity well there's something like an issue with connect i think there's an issue with connectivity here eh? because uh, the i have issues connecting to a wi-fi network uh, in this laptop maybe because of uh, the software it's some it has something to do with software because I erased the original Win Win Chinese version of Windows and I installed uh, another English version of Windows so maybe because of that uh, I have a little bit of uh, connectivity issues with uh, Wi-Fi networks but other than that uh, it does connect but uh, at times it it lags or some it, it, it does connect but at times it's it shows uh, issues while trying to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So that's not really a big deal, but sometimes it can be annoying. Talking about the speakers on this device, there are, I don't know how many I have not counted. Uh, there are two speakers on the back, one here and one here. So there are two speakers on the back. These speakers are okay, like they're not really loud or anything like that. Uh, but one thing I've noticed uh, is that if you like really, uh, if you play sounds as like at like the maximum loudness, like maximum volume, uh, th these speakers kind of get tinty, tinny. Or like you know, there's a lot of like you can ex like hear uh, some sort of noise or distortion on the speakers. So uh, the speakers are like not that great. It's like so so. The speakers on this one is like uh, mediocre to say the least so the speakers are like okay not that good if you go to higher volumes then you might experience some uh, distortion on it but then uh, it's not that much a big deal for me anyways so yeah speakers are okay not that great but then okay so the performance is okay i mean it's like really good for me the performance is really good if you don't like really push this machine you only do normal stuff like youtube uh chrome and then typing and stuff like that uh, and then the battery life is good enough for me five six hours battery life and the connectivity i have a little bit of issue with wi-fi connectivity and speakers mediocre uh, talking about the typing experience so one of the most important things for me is in a laptop is uh, the typing experience because i don't know i type a lot and i enjoy typing so let me show you so the typing experience on this laptop is really good the keyboard is like the the keyboard has ample amount of space in it it is not like crammed or anything like that the keys are in the all the keys are in proper space uh, and the keyboard uh, there's one feature that i really like the keyboard is backlit so you can actually uh, backlit your keyboard so if you are typing at night uh, then you can turn on this uh, backlit keyboard and you can see the keyboard it has lights underneath the keys so it's a good feature but then uh, apart from that just talking about the typing experience the keyboard is really really good in this device I really like I love this keyboard on this device and the typing experience is really nice so the quick bound fox Thumbs over the lazy dog. 
Hello. And so yeah, the typing the typing experience is really good. The keys are all in proper place, and there is like uh, a decent amount of travel on uh, on the keys, and the keys are very responsive. They're they're not like wobbly or like cheap or anything like that. The keyboard is really premium and it's really responsive, and the keys have an ample amount of travel in them so you actually feel like you're typing on a nice keyboard so the keyboard on this device is really good which means if you're buying this device for like if you're a writer or someone like that if you're buying this device uh, to make take notes or like write in general this is one of the best devices because it has one of the best keyboards considering its price so now that we have done uh, talking about the keyboard let's talk about the webcam personally i don't use webcams don't ask me why i just don't like video calling like video chats is not my thing but if you were to use a webcam uh, it's okay it's decent i guess i have i've never really tried it i've tried it a couple of times it works i mean you're not expecting like a good camera in a uh, in a laptop webcam i mean you're not gonna take pictures with this camera you're just using it for video calls and stuff like that so for that purpose it's like more than good enough i guess the microphones on this device is also good i recently had a video like and a video call with a friend and we with a friend and we experienced no issues so it is loud and clear the microphone on this device is decent it works for me So we've covered, I guess we've covered everything, the design, the battery life, the screen. Now, oh, I forgot about that. So the screen on this device, the screen on this device is, I don't know how many inches. It's like a 12 inch screen. The bezels, the bezels are okay. I mean, I like this bezel because like, it's like my wallpaper is black and then the bezels is also, are also black. So it kind of blends in. But then the bezels are not that thick, like these are like thin bezels. Uh, on the bottom and the top, the bezels are kind of thick, but I don't mind bezels, like it's okay with me, I'm not, bezels don't really annoy me. So it's oh, like the, the screen is good, I guess. It, it gets print, plenty light, like it, it is like a bright screen. If you're walking indoors, you can easily view this. It's like a good screen. Everything looks sharp and nothing looks... Uh, everything looks sharp nothing looks uh bad i guess uh the screen is in the screen has enough the screen has enough pixels i guess uh we can't see pixel like nothing is pixelated everything is dark it is i it is i guess a 1080p panel i don't really know but the screen is good and but then uh if you go if you talk about the brightness if you go outside in sunlight you can't really view the screen so outside visibility is not that good but then i doubt like why would you use your laptop outside i mean most of the time you use computers inside the room or a room or something like that right so that's not really an issue i don't really use my laptop outside i use it in my room so not an issue for me but if you're like thinking about it outside like sunlight visibility is not that great but then inside it gets plenty bright i like it so the screen is that the bezels are kind of thick on top and bottom the side bezels are thin but apart from that that's pretty good and then uh talking about the like how beautiful it is it's like a beauty very beautiful uh, laptop because it doesn't really have all that many branding like uh you like there's only one xiaomi logo here so this is the only logo in the laptop like if you if i were to remove this front cover uh, or case uh, they, like there is no branding on the front case so it's like very clean and on the back as well uh, it does not have a it does not have all that many uh, uh, logos or stickers like that like it is like a very clean laptop it is very it looks really minimalistic and it's like really thin i really like it and talking about like one more thing like uh if you turn this device uh backwards 
uh, you can see that they are like I don't know what these like rubber things at the back so these are also a nice addition because these rubber these rubbers like uh, prevent the laptop from sliding and they also protect the back side of the laptop so these are like a nice addition to it and then uh, if you wait if you are one of like those guys if you one of that if you're one of those person uh, who likes to get inside a laptop then it's like pretty straightforward there are like one two two four six there are like six hinges on this there are like six screws on this uh, laptop if you like you can easily remove and remove this back side and do whatever you want inside of this laptop so it's like not that difficult to get inside of this laptop if you want to like in like increase the ram or something like that change the fan or the, the like basically the repairing aspect of this laptop is good uh, now let's talk about the price so uh, in nepal it I I think in Nepal it cost around like seventy, like it it cost around like seventy something like seventy five, 